Hello. Ha! Top of the morning, friends and family. How are you wonderful, beautiful people doing today? We're going to be feeding the blood pythons, the baby blood pythons in today's video. We've got our cricket loose in the snake room somewhere. For those of you who watch the channel regularly, you know that we put out three videos a week. Two of them are beautifully edited cinematic masterpieces. One of them is uncut. Ready for this boy? We just, uh, we just woke up. So don't mind us, I just realized that the autofocus was off on the camera, but it's on now. So we've had uh, the rats thawing out right outside the enclosures of the blood pythons, which just wanted to let people know, answer the questions with people wondering like, why are they on water? Are they soaking for a shed? In a sense, yes. Um, I learned this technique from Matt Minatola over at Philly Herp, who has lots of experience raising up baby blood pythons. And the thing about baby blood pythons is they're very prone to dehydration as they're growing. They don't have their first shed for months and months. So that's the reason for keeping them on water is to almost completely negate the possibility that they will dehydrate. And then also, <laughs> you're basically soaking them for their first shed for the first half a year of their life or so. Um, Noah and I just woke up, literally just woke up and crawled right down here, <laughs> right? And I've done a video like this before where we fed the snakes just like this and it's the same technique. Frozen thawed, getting them started, th th there's a difference. There's a big difference, Noah. I'm gonna show you with blood pythons versus ball pythons. With ball pythons, you basically, you never wanna touch their face with the prey item because it's just gonna scare them and they're gonna back off and you're never gonna get them to eat the frozen thawed item. Like, I've got a 0% success rate for touching the prey item to the animal's face and having like 0%. They've never, they never eat it after that. Once you, once you touch their face and they get scared, they go, oh, oh, no, 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 I'm not gonna do it. Blood pythons, different story, as you may see just now. So I got my scalding hot water over here. I mean, you know, it's it's hot. And I'm gonna drop, drop some of this into that. Drop some, oh, I, I, I do have a table. I do have a rolling cart over here. It's kind of a mess right now, sorry. Like I said, I, I've been doing a lot around here and cleaning off this thing was not one of the things on that list. Are you, you sure you're ready for this boy? Yeah. I know that we are all, we're all still rubbing the sleep out of our eyes. Okay, I wonder if we can see how hot that water really is. Can you see the steam? I can. Yeah, you can, but can the camera see it? Not, oh, oh, there's a little bit. A little bit of steam. Oh, there's the steam. You can see it. Steaming hot water. All right. Okay, so I'm gonna do a little ploop, plop, plop, ploop, ploop, plop. You wanna stand, oh, you got the stool ready to stand on so you can see what I'm doing? So I'm gonna feed the first four and then you can feed your snake last, okay? Since it's the lowest. I go top to bottom. All right. That should be enough. Snakey poo. Don't, not too much movement, Noah. It's also much brighter in here than it usually is when we be doing this, so keep that in mind, guys. I want you guys to be able to see what's happening. However, this may affect the feeding response of the snakes. So I, I don't generally touch it to their face right away. I see if I can evoke a response just by dancing the item in front of their face like I would with a hatchling ball python. However, if that doesn't work, then I'll do a little touchy, just a gentle rubby, see if that'll change their mind about Oh, this guy's going to run away, but even, even after the running away, like if he kind of, oh, it's getting out of focus, he almost kind of like 
Not completely an item with him, but, but kind of. Yeah. And I'm, I'm talking a lot. I usually wouldn't be talking through all this, so those, those vibrations are kind of... It's not, not going to work out so well, I don't think, for this particular guy. Anyway, the challenge is of trying to show you how feeding works while having on video while having a different scenario than you would be doing if the video wasn't rolling, i.e. the lights, the talking. It never works out the same. But let's try number two. Number two looks ready. Let's try not is to that, talk. Let's try not to talk as much as possible. Is that one-eyed Willy? That's one-eyed Willy. So this is the one-eyed ball python. And blood python. Uh, did I not say blood python? You said ball. Okay. And the camera does not want to focus. What on earth? <sighs> okay. What do you think, one-eyed Willy? Ready for a meal? He's like, dude, it is way too bright in here, and you are talking way too much. They are just babies. Yeah, but this would be their second meal. Oh my gosh, we're gonna have a 0% success rate on this. I can already feel it. There's only one more we can try. No. Before I do it. Two more. <sighs> okay, alright. Once they're running away, it's like... Once they're running away, it's like I know that it's not happening, really. I mean, sometimes if you can do a little bit of rubbing... This is embarrassing. Remember that snake that bit me when I was choosing my snake? That bit me when I wasn't even grab, going over to grab it? Uh, yeah. It just bit me right here. I remember I was there. We got my video. <laughs> I know. I was just seeing if you remembered. Alright. <clears throat> Let's, uh, the great thing is that if they, they don't eat, we've got plenty of other Little snakes around here that'll take it. Even even our frog will eat the eat the mouse. So can I feed yeah. the frog? Sure. Let's see if we can get this one. When Bufo's hungry enough, he'll eat me. Okay. Hey, let, let's let's try something. Let's try not talking for the next two. Okay. Your nose, bud. I know that technique looks ridiculous, but I promise it works. <laughs> they look like the chickens running away from us when we're trying to give the chickens something. Hey, are you putting out your uh, Godzilla video today? Most likely. Yeah. Because tomorrow we're leaving. Here, why don't we come feed the frog? Here, you take that.
Stay there, camera. Now that's... He looks like he's got a go okay. Facebook. Is he asleep? No. Put, put, put to his face. There you go. At least something's eating something around here. Mmm. <laughs> yeah. Tasty rat. Mm -hmm. I think you like sucking on it, getting all the flavor out. <laughs> At least we can count on you to eat something, even in the bright light. Okay, bud, let's try your snake. Hey, what is with the bright light? Well, we can't see without the light, and the video is not very good if you can't see. Okay, come on over. Here. I'll open up the tub for you. Okay, slow, easy. Put them face to the face. You're feeding them the butt. Your grip's a little weird. I know. You gotta put the face to his face. You're pushing the tub in. Get a better grip on that rat, bud. Your grip is ridiculous. Oh, serious, dude. Look, you hold it like scissors, dude. Scissors. I don't know what kind of grip you think you have going on right now. You just gotta hold it like. I don't. You you've done this a hundred times. I don't know what you're doing with your grip. That was ridiculous. Oh my gosh. <clears throat> Alright, welcome to our, thank you for watching, our very unsuccessful blood python feeding video. You forgot to put food for away.